Michelle Dale for virtualassistant-live.com and VALive.tv and as you can see uh, we are on my YouTube channel because I'm going to give you a few tips and things I've learned from YouTube since I started using it um, back in, when was it? August 11th 2010 I joined YouTube, uh, this was just before I started my blog um, officially in September 2010 so I've been doing this for about roughly a year now okay so I have a few tips that I've learnt from doing these videos the first tip I have for you for YouTube is that you should get yourself a proper background like the one I have here um, something that is branded, that has your logo on it, that has, you know, your name, your website address, you know, any slogans or taglines that you have. Um, something that is going to make people associate your channel uh, with you. Okay, so we have the background here. The second tip is to fill out your profile and all your details, um, but also add some links in there. So as you see, I've got my four primary links in there for the services that I'm promoting on this channel. And here I have a complete bio um, and all information about myself, which people can read if if they would like to. Um, so my second tip is to make sure you put some relevant links in there and add an about me section um, so you've got the information about yourself or your company on there as well, whatever your channel is representing. The next thing, the next tip I have for you is that you need to interact. Now as you can see on here, uh, we do a lot of interacting and because of that I feel we have 167 channel comments. Some of them are a little bit strange, some of them are quite nice, um, others are inviting to connect in other places, so it's well worth that you comment on other people's channels, particularly if they've commented on your channel, um, and also to make sure that you know the comment has some sort of value. Um, it's important to add a valuable comment if you just add, you know, some random line which is copied and pasted onto every single channel that you comment on then it's not such a good thing but interact and people will, in, will interact with you um, so I've got those comments on there the next tip is more for the video so we've gone through tips up for the channel and now I'm going to take you through tips for the actual videos up here now the first tip I have for your videos which I think is very important is to brand them and you will see here, I'm going to click play that I have a, a video intro. Uh, this video intro goes on for, I think it's around 10 or 11 seconds, we'll see here. Uh, so yeah, it's about 10 seconds. So I've added a 10 second intro to the front of all of my videos. The next tip I want to tell you about is text overlays. So as you can see here, after the video intro, which shows my brand and shows that they're on, you know, on one of my videos, I also add this little bit of text in here, um, basically directing them somewhere which is of interest. So if they're watching this on my blog, they may want to go to valive.tv, which is my YouTube channel, which is this. Um, basically, I bought the domain valive.tv and then I forwarded the domain to my whole YouTube channel. So if anyone puts in valive.tv, um, the domain is on forward to youtube.com forward slash virtual assistant live. Um, another link I put in there is my main blog, which is where I like to primarily drive all my traffic um, for my sales funnel. So my blog is there and you know the YouTube channel is there, depending on where people are watching the video. So that is what I call a, a text overlay on the videos and you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, you can have a call to action, you could put the link um, to the blog post. What I do, and this is another part of adding details, is I add a description in here and it's the same for most of the videos. The only thing I change out is today's blog post and I put the link to the blog post. So you can put the link to the blog post in the video or uh, you can put it in the description down here. So I've got today's blog post and then I've got the four primary links that I want people to go to. Um, 
which is uh, my blog, my free ebook, um, my uh, VA apprentice program for training VAs, and also my support site, which is VA Passport for working as a VA. Um, so I have those in there, and I pretty basically much copy and paste these all at the same time. Um, and it's the same for every single video. Every single video has a description. For example, uh, let's go to this one. Uh, you'll see it's the same here. Um, everything has a description and a link back to the blog. Okay, so going back up to my other video, there's one more thing I wanna show you, one more tip I have. Uh, what we're gonna have to do is just wait for this little video to run to the end here. Um, um, skip it. And ha ah, this is what I wanted to show you. Go back. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of the video here, and um, what I suggest you do is create an end slide for your video, and you can add a call to action on it or whatever you want. So I'm just going to play the rest of this video, and you can see my ending slide. And team building in your VA business. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, so here's my end slide. It plays for around 10 seconds on uh, most of the videos. I only recently introduced this, but I'm glad I did, so I wanted to add this in. Um, basically, it's introducing people to my VA Live community, which is my um, support membership site. So I've got the website address on there, um, like a call to action, asking them to visit and for more information, etc, etc. Those are my main uh, tips I can give you. There's loads more tips and things you can do in the settings of the YouTube account. Um, think you can add little YouTube calls to actions on here. Um, there's a whole variety of things you could do, but these are my main primary tips on how you can polish your channel, on how you can polish your videos and just make them look really neat, really tidy, very branded, which is important, and have those really important calls to actions and links in um, everywhere that you need them. So I hope this helps and I'll see you on the next video.